the word of God. Before we start, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. We thank you, God, because you have blessed us. We are more blessed because we have seen the rising of the sun. And we believe we'll continue to see the setting of the sun. God, bless us, God, as you'll be listening to a word. Bless me, God, and bless everyone who will be listening to it. And let this word minister unto our heart. We ask it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, Bongwanaga. So I think you are aware that you have been learning the past two Sundays. Teacher Yvonne has been teaching us on the topic of thanksgiving. And today I'll be continuing with this topic and almost concluding it. Because as you are aware, the church is in the week of thanksgiving. So we are concluding this lessons of thanksgiving today. So I believe you have been blessed. Those who are not listening to her, oh, we have really missed such a precious and wonderful teachings. So that is not all. I'll be concluding, almost summarizing of what teacher Yvonne has been teaching us. So as we continue today, I want us to focus today on the aspect of thanksgiving in terms of obedience. So before we continue, let's share from the word of God. We are going to read from the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18. And it does read, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So what the Bible is telling us today is that we should give thanks to God. So this morning, I'm going to share with you some characters of kids how they appreciate their parents when they have done something good for them. To a large extent, how they appreciate God when God has blessed them. Yes, most of the time when we talk about Thanksgiving, it's good. We thank God for the good things that he has done for us. But today, I want us to go de deep into that topic. So like I said, we have different characters of kids that I'm going to share with you. And obviously, I know you as my kids. I know you as Sunday school kids. So one of the characters is not for you. So it's upon you as a child of God, as a Sunday school kid, to choose your character. This is the first one. So a parent was with this kid. They went outside to shopping. So when a parent was with this kid, you know, I was just passing by. They were in a shop. The parent found a very nice toy and appreciated it and wanted to buy it for this kid. You know what this kid did? The parent said, my boy, I want to buy for you this toy. The boy was like, no, mama, you can't find for me this toy. You can't. And imagine, this is in a shop. Everybody's around. So this kid is saying, no, mama, you can't buy for me this toy. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, I want this one. And then the, the parent is there. He's so embarrassed. People are starting to watch. This is one of the characters that we have. And like I said, these are the characters that we have. As a Sunday school kid, you will choose the one for you. So another character is this kid. You know, fortunately or unfortunately, I had a visit. Uh, we were in a social event, and then we were there early in the morning. So auntie came to this kid politely. He was holding motoho, a soft porridge. And then auntie came and said, hello, take and eat. And then when this child saw that it was motoho, he just pushed away the plate and then it spilled over. This is the character that we have. And then, you know, another character, uh, the parent discussed a night before that they'll be going to their village, home village, the following morning. So they agreed. 
And then you know what? This kid was there, he was listening. Unfortunately, he had another plan. So after the discussion, he goes and called the friends. Then they started discussing. He said, hey, Lachomi, I've got news for you. And then they were attentive. What are the news? And then he said, imagine friendship. My parents have just said, we are going home tomorrow. You know, I don't like it. I don't like going home. I don't, there's no TV. You know, I don't have friends there. And imagine, friendo, can we plan to go to, to this mall? We are supposed to go and watch this movie. And I don't know why my parents are saying I should, should go home. I think I should plan that I miss that visitation. Another character. You know, as you know, some of you have finished their written the examinations, the standard seven examination, and others just finished last Friday. And then during the progress of the year, yes, it was agreed with the parents that they will take a trip after they have completed the examination. And then the parent had to cancel the trip. And then this boy was just so irritated. He didn't like the, 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 the suggestion of the parent. They, they, they had a very good plan. And then he started shouting to his parents. He started shouting to his father, shouting to, him, to the mother. And then the parents were just so embarrassed because they thought they discussed this in details. So that's the type of character that we have. But I have a suggestion. I have a, my own view of the character that I expect from my Sunday school kid. So in an instance where you have your parents in a mall, and then the parent buys for you the toy that they can afford. You know, this, this kid was very, very thankful. He said, Mama, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for buying me this toy. I know it might be the one that I was expecting, but I'm very, very thankful for it. Because I know, one thing that I know is that other kids don't have this opportunity. They don't have a parent who can buy for them a toy. I'm very, very thankful. And one thing that I know is that one day you are going to buy the toy that I'm going to love more, the toy that I'm going to show you. So this is a character that I expect, that I expect from my Sunday school kid. So this other character, the visit to a home village. You know, this kid was so pleased for such cancellation. He went to his parents and said, Mama, I just want to thank you. I thank you because at least you are saying we are going home tomorrow. You know, I'm going home and I'm very, very happy. Please, when you arrive there, I want to go and visit my grandmother. I want to go and visit my auntie. I want to go and celebrate with them. I want to go and pray for my grandmother. I fear it's not well. So I want to go and minister to her. You know, my grandmother is 86 years old, so I'm very, very happy because the moment I pray for her, I'm going to receive such blessings, the blessings of reaching 86 years old. So mother, I just want to thank you. Yes, I had my own arrangement. We agreed that you are going to visit, you are going to go to the mall, but I'm so excited because you have now arranged another special visit. We are going home. And I'm very, very happy. I know there's no television home, but I'm excited because I'm going to meet my relatives. So this is the character that we have. So that one, the one from Udo. You know, we have a character of a kid who appreciates the food that is given. So this kid was very, very pleased. He said, Mom, I just want to thank you. I thank you for the food that you can afford. I know you can do more. We'll continue to pray that God, God will bless you and you'll buy more and more of the food, even the one that I'm going to appreciate. So this is a character of a kid that I will expect. You know, why do you have that kind of character? Why am I giving examples of such characters? Because once we have a character, a kid that appreciates that whatever is provided, that's what pleases your parents. That also natures you so that when you have grown up, you know, you'll be able, when you are on your own, you will appreciate what God is able to do for you. The scripture that we have read, it was saying we should thank God in all circumstances. Kid, 
That doesn't mean that we are asking for, for substandard things. No. We know God loves us. We know silver and gold belongs to God. So our parent, God blesses us to the proportion that we will be able to appreciate. God knows our needs. Our parents know what we need. So in this week of thanksgiving, let's look back. Let's reflect. Let. Let's reflect our conduct on what we are given. Our conduct, our appreciation on what we are blessed with. Our appreciation on what our parents can afford. You know, I know, I, we have always shared these things. And I remember one of the kids, you know, in one of the lessons similar to this one, he said, you know what, the examples that we are giving, I just hope my mother could not hear them. Because sometimes as kids, you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear that, you know, you should appreciate, you know, the smallest toy that your mother can buy you. You want a bicycle, you know, you want to always to be eating fried chips, you know, you want to always to be given money to go to a movie, but some situations don't allow that. Our parents, as I know them, they appreciate, you know, they look the surrounding, they consider, is it right, is this good for me, is it good for you, will I be responsible to give you this? So this is the lesson. This is the choice that we should make as a Sunday school kid. You know, why are we saying that? Why am I giving these examples? Because I know some of you, you have just finished your Form 5. You have your own plans. You have just finished your Standard 7. You have your own plans. Some of you are saying, you know, teacher, you know, I, I remember when we started Kajanawari, some of you are saying, you know, I want to be admitted at the school because that was the time when we were starting to plan for the year, you know, checking you whether you, you can forecast your expectation for the year. Some of you, you know, I wish my parents, you know, I've been going to this school. When I finish my standard seven, I want my parents to take me to this school. Some of you, you know, when I, I want to be admitted to this university. Such situation, that is our own plans. You know, like we always said in our classes, there are so many devices, so many thoughts. We think a lot in our mind. We plan in our mind, but the counsel of the Lord shall stand. So whatever God gives us, we should be able to appreciate. We have asked, yes, we have our own desire. The Bible says we should tell God our own desire. God expects us. He, he, he needs he need to hear what we expect from him. And then he's going to bless us at the right time. That doesn't mean what God has forgotten. No. So once you are admitted to the school that you never planned to go to, you know, you should be able, you know, I'm going to form one. I've heard my plan was that I should go to this specific school. Right now, I've been admitted to the school. God, I just want to thank you. I thank you, God. I've heard that this is not a school that has been doing well, but I'm going there for a reason. I'm a child of God. I'm going there to make a change. I'm going there to make friends that are going to take their schoolwork seriously. We are going to pass. We are a generation of kids that has been admitted in this school to make a change. We are going to make history in this school. This is the character of kids who appreciate the blessings from God. As we said, we have our own devices. But the counsel of God stand. We ask. God listens. God listens. He never go to sleep. He is always awake. So he listens. And then he said, oh, he wants to do this. Is this out of selfish desire? Is it the right position? Is it the right place my child should be in this year? And then God decides. So a child who never throw away the porridge, the child who never embarrassed his parents in a mall while the parents has bought a toy will appreciate what the Lord has done. If God blesses you, 
very soon we'll be hearing about the standard sevens, the results. You know, you prayed, you said, God, your Bible says I'll be the head, not the tail. You know, you said I should ask. I want to go to this school. Once God do according to his own ways, you'll be saying, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Why am I saying that? Why am, I Why am I saying this to you? You know, yes, we are talking, I'm talking to kids. Some are two years old. You know, they don't care. You know, some of them, those who are not in this Sunday school, you know, they throw away the porridge. They don't care. They don't care if people are looking at them. You know, they, but those who appreciate when they are old, when they've gone in these classes in Sunday school, when they are old, they will know they will appreciate what God is doing to them. You know, some of you, you know, once we finished, you will be employed. That is a blessing. We will appreciate God for that. But others, maybe they are not going to. But in that situation, some, I know, I know you, my kid, you will stand up and say, God, I just want to thank you. I thank you. Whether I'm employed, I'm not employed, one thing I know is that my future is in your hands. You are God who will never leave me. You will never forsake me. I know you are God who is in this situation. And one thing that I know, I will never beg for bread because your promises are yes and amen. You have my blessings. I thank you for blessing Atang. I thank you for blessing Shasha. My blessings are on the way. Thank you very much, Bungwanaka. Let's learn to thank God on what he has done for us. Let's thank our parents. You know, it's so sweet, I'm telling you. You know, when you come to a parent and say, Mama, thank you. Thank you so much. That pleases your parents. You know, when the, even when your parents praise, I'm telling you, after saying that, you know, just, just see your mother how he prays. You know, that even he'll be so, so happy. And he'll want to do more and more for you. This is how you please our parents. This is what pleases even God more, to see our parents happy on what they have done for us. And God will pour his blessings on our life. So thank you so much. May we continue to give thanks to God. May we continue to give thanks to our parents, our guardians, they support us, our uncles, our aunties at home. They prepare these things for us. So let's appreciate them and say thank you, auntie, today. Thank you. Thank you for polishing my shoes. My shoes are shiny. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word. We thank you for this teaching. Bless us, God. And bless every child who has been listening. Change our character to please you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.